Hi guys and welcome to DIY Hair School and on today's video I am going to show you my most basic hair washing routine. I wash my hair probably twice a week on average. That's two times in about seven days. So every three to four days I wash my hair, sometimes a little more um, if I'm going to be going somewhere, sometimes a little less. Just depends um, when my natural roots are coming in. I do tend to wash it more just because the contrast of the darker blonde to my bleach blonde does make my hair look more greasy. It makes it more noticeable. But this is the routine that I do just on a regular basis. I'm not going anywhere special. I'm not trying to do any sort of hair care routine or volumizing style. This is just my normal everyday hair wash routine. When I wash my hair, I always use warm water, but not super, super hot. Use really hot water can activate the sebum glands in your head and you can overproduce a lot of oil. And I like to massage that warm water into my scalp to really loosen up any oil or dirt. I am using the Matrix Unbreak My Blonde shampoo and conditioner today. Um, it's one of my favorites for my bleached hair and the one I use on a daily basis. Now you will notice as I am scrubbing my scalp with a shampoo that it's not really getting very sudsy. I'm not going to add more shampoo. It's not getting sudsy because my hair is dirty. There's a lot of oil. There's a lot of product buildup and the molecules from the shampoo are simply attaching to that dirt and they're not able to make big bubbles. You will see that I do drag the shampoo down my hair a little bit. I don't scrub the ends of my hair, but I do want to make sure that that shampoo is getting all the way through my hair just because I do use a lot of hair products and I want to make sure I'm fully getting those out and then I'm just going to rinse thoroughly and I'm going to do a second shampoo and this is where you're going to see my hair get really bubbly and sudsy really quickly and that's because a lot of the dirt and oil and product has now already been removed by the first shampoo and this second shampoo is what's going to get my hair super super squeaky clean and getting it squeaky clean like that is going to make it fuller looking fluffier less flat to my head and it is going to help my hair not be as oily as fast because I will have removed 100% of that oil and build up from my hair. I'm going to condition now with the Unbreak My Blonde Conditioner, but before I condition, no matter where I'm washing my hair, whether it's the bath, the shower, just sticking my head in the tub, I always squeeze out as much water as I can. You don't need to towel dry. You don't need to grab a towel and actually towel dry your hair, but just squeeze your hair until you're not getting any big squeezes of water anymore. And then you're going to go in and really emulsify that conditioner through your mids and through your ends. I do like in the winter to condition sort of almost to my roots at the back of my head because the back of my hair tends to get a little more dry and tangly from laying against my winter jacket or my scarf or sweaters, things like that. Um, but I don't massage the conditioner into my roots because that is going to add a lot of weight to my hair and make it a lot harder for my hair to be full and fluffy like I like. And then I just rinse the conditioner super, super well. You want to make sure you rinse it completely and then again, squeeze your hair out. So the Unbreak My Blonde is the shampoo and conditioner that I use for my hair from Matrix, but it might not be the right one for you if you don't lighten your hair. So check out the description because I will list the different Matrix shampoos that I recommend for different hair types because they have so many great ones and they probably have a great one for you. And I love them because they are a professional brand, but they're not super expensive. All right, so you typically want to avoid letting your hair dry too much before you put in any products that you're going to be putting in. Whether you're going to air dry or blow dry your hair, it doesn't matter, but you want to get your leave-in conditioner in. Leave-in conditioner is the one product that I always use in my hair, even if I'm not going to use anything else. Um, I usually use a multi-product, so today I'm going to be using the Eve NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 for fine hair and so this has like detangling um, which is like you know it's gonna help to reinforce the conditioner that you've put in your hair while you washed because that conditioner is going to evaporate with the water so you want to add more conditioner to your hair and you want to add it before your hair starts to dry at all um, obviously your hair shouldn't be dripping wet when you put it in your hair should be damp but if you've squeezed out most of the water and then squeezed your hair in a towel or in a microfiber towel, then most of the water should be gone. Your hair shouldn't be sopping 
wet, but you also don't want your hair to start drying. Um, a multi-use product is great because not only does it have the leave-in conditioner component, it has got anti-frizz, it has got heat protection, it's got everything in it to keep your hair healthy. I have various ones that I like to use. It's just the one that I'm going to use today. So I take my hair out of my towel. Like I said, it's still fairly wet at this point. I'm just going to shake it out. I'm not gonna brush it until after I put my detangler in if I'm gonna brush it wet. And for fine hair, about six to eight sprays should do you. Maybe three or four on each side or like two, 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 two. Um, if you have more hair, then you're gonna wanna add more, but I will start on the one side some sprays couple sprays couple sprays and a couple sprays if you watch my content a lot then you know i typically don't bother to brush my hair when it's wet i just start blow drying it but because i know a lot of you like to brush out your tangles before you either air dry or blow dry your hair we're going to brush today so you want to brush after you put your conditioner in your hair and you want to use a detangling brush so I like the wet brush brand um, but you don't have to use the wet brush brand any detangling brush will do you just want to look for something that has super flexible bristles this way they are not going to tang rip any tangles that they encounter and you just want to start at the bottom and work your way up getting out the tangles from the bottom first because if you start at the top and you brush into all the other tangles, you're actually just creating tighter tangles by pushing all the tangles from the top into the tangles from the middle and the bottom. So it's just a lot better for your hair to start at the bottom and work your way up. And then we're just gonna blow dry the hair. So there we go. That is my hair freshly washed, most basic wash routine that I do. No volumizing products, no volumizing blowout. You can see what a difference it makes when I don't do any of the volumizing products or techniques in my hair. It is very flat, um, very fine. But keep in mind, I've said before, it's not so much about having to use the exact same products I use. I even tend to use different products in certain videos that achieve the same or similar results. It's about finding the right shampoo and conditioner for your hair type and your lifestyle, and it's about finding the right leave-in conditioner for your hair. But those three products, a good shampoo, a good conditioner, and then a good leave-in conditioner are your three most basic products that you should always have and always use if you never use anything else at least use those. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or if there's any content you'd like to see. Like and subscribe because I do post three videos every single week on YouTube. I post shorts every day and I also post daily on Instagram and on TikTok DIY Hair School. Thanks so much for being here today guys. Bye.